there, fellow travelers! My name is Chris and I'll be your guide for the day. I'll be touring the very impressive Nymphenburg Palace in Munich today. After that tour, I'll show you the, the largest beer garden in Munich, which is located just a short walk from the palace. If you haven't already, I recommend you watch my walking tour video of Munich that I released last week first, as I provide some general information about Munich in that one. I'll link to it down in the pinned comment below and also somewhere up here. Alright, and with that we're gonna go ahead and start the tour. Schloss Nymphenburg, or in English Nymphenburg Palace, is located in Munich's western district Neuhausen Nymphenburg. You can easily get there with the tram number 17 and I'll leave a link with the train map in the description below. The beer garden that we'll visit afterwards is located inside the Hirschgarten, about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the palace. The Nymphenburg Palace is a Baroque palace with an impressive frontal width of 632 meters or 2073 feet, which even surpasses the Palace of Versailles near Paris. It served as the main summer residence for the former rulers of Bavaria, the long-awaited heir to the throne, Max Emanuel, who was born in 1662. Construction began in 1664 and by 1679, so about 15 years later, the palace complex in its first incarnation had nearly been finished. The present-day dimensions were acquired under the elector Max Emanuel, who reigned from 1680 to 1726. In 1726, Karl Albrecht became the elector of Bavaria before becoming Emperor Charles VII in 1742. He continued construction work at Nymphenburg, which his father, Max Emanuel, had started. You can tour the inside of the palace for a small fee and they also have audio guides available. Under Elector Maximilian III Josef, who reigned from 1745 to 1777, this great hall acquired the opulent decoration that you see today. On this floor plan you see number one in the center, which is the great hall I just showed you. There are two wings that connect to the Great Hall, a north and a south wing. Elector Karl Theodor ruled in Bavaria from 1777 to 1799 and changed little at Nymphenburg besides widening the galleries and furnishing the palace in the style of the day. We are walking through the north wing with the north apartment and north Karl Theodor rooms. When Bavaria became a kingdom in the early 19th century, Nymphenburg resumed its important function. Maximilian I Josef was the first king of Bavaria reigning from 1806 to 25, and he ordered some of the rooms to be redesigned and appointed with noble neoclassical furniture. Now we walk through the south wing with the south apartment, south Karl Theodor rooms, as well as the queen's apartment. The first king of Bavaria, Maximilian Josef, died at Nymphenburg in 1825 and the palace remained a favorite residence of the Bavarian royal family. King Ludwig II of Bavaria, who reigned from 1864 to 1886, was born here at Nymphenburg in 1845. This concludes the inside and we are heading out to the backside of the palace. 
This is a 200 hectare or 490 acre park, which initially was an Italian garden and later was enlarged and rearranged in French style and ultimately redone in the English manner during the 19th century by Friedrich Ludwig von Skell, who was also the creator of the English garden, which I visit in the walking tour video from last week. This concludes our visit of Nymphenburg Palace. For those of you that are hungry and thirsty after the visit, take a short 10 to 15 minute walk to the Hirschgarten. This is where the largest beer garden of Munich, maybe even in the world, is located. It seats 8,000 people. I really hope you enjoyed the tour of Nymphenburg Palace and our quick little stop to the Hirschgarten. I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button and sharing the video with your friends and family. Also, I'll be releasing two more videos on Munich. One will include the Olympic Park and the other one the Dachau Concentration Camp Memorial Site. So stay tuned for those and with that I say thank you and Dankeschön!